Hi everyone. Today I'm going to go through um, a how-to. Um, I get a lot. I got. I get asked a lot of questions on the uh, the Vive forum, asking me how to do this, that, and the other. So I thought I'd put together a bunch of videos on YouTube that will go through the basics um, of each um, aspect of the pre-editor. So um, today we're going to go through the club screens. So you should already have the pre-editor installed. So I'm going to go load a database up. Okay. So you you should be aware of how to do this by now. So I don't want to go through it. It's all loaded. As you can see, I've had to resize my uh, pre-editor just so I can record it in uh, 720p. I've got a pretty rubbish monitor at the moment, so um, it will have to do. So, onto the uh, the club screen. So I thought I'd just go through the different aspects of the, the clubs in a bit more detail, and hopefully this will stop a lot of the questions um, being asked in the forum if, if you guys just watched the uh, YouTube videos. So, I'm going to search for Arsenal. As you can see, I've made some changes before in the past with changing Barnet around, but we're going to Arsenal's main team. And when you um, enter into Arsenal, you're you're presented or into a club, you're presented with with, with this this screen. And I'm going to go through each um, different option which you're able to do within editing the club, editing the clubs. So here we have the club uh, club name and the short name. So if you want to change the um, the club's names, so for instance, for instance if you want to change what Arsenal's called, you'll be changing these two boxes. And it's important you change both of them because in different parts of the game it will use the, uh, the, the full name or the short name. Um, so that's just free type, you can type what you want. There is a maximum I think of um, 52 characters for the club name and I think for the short name it's 26 I believe. Next we have reputa reputation, and this is a value that ranges from zero to ten thousand, and that the higher the number, the more reputable the, cl cl the clubs are going to be, which means you can attract better players, and and hopefully you'll attract um, you know, bigger weight, uh, bigger finances as well. Next one is training, and that ranges from zero to twenty. Um, again. The higher the number, the better your training facilities within the club is. Now, these do have um, some validation on it. So, if you try and type a number greater than, in this case, 10,000, if I put 50,000 and leave it, it will default back to the maximum value. So I'll show you that again. So, it's 50,000. I'm going to leave that box and it defaults back to the maximum value. And that's just so that it doesn't crash the game. And the same for training. You can't put greater than, than 20 in, default back. Um, there is no financial um, information within the Predator, and that's uh, out of respect to um, Sports Interactive and Sega. Um, next one is professional status. Um, within the, the game, you might notice that some, some teams are classed as amateur or semi-professional or professional, and this is what this is. This allows you to change the uh, professional status of the club and usually when the, the club is professional it has greater flexibility f with um, players wages and um, and budget basically so that allows you to change that one of the new features um, in the pre-editor is this function here called is B team and this allows you to modify the team into a B team now I'll just show you for instance, if we go back to Arsenal B. Now Arsenal B used to be Barnet and I modified Barnet to be called Arsenal B. I've ticked, is it a B team? Yes. I've now chosen which team it's linked to, which is Arsenal, which means that when you start a game there will be no Barnet in the game, but there will be an Arsenal B playing in the league which Barnet was playing and it will be linked to Arsenal like you have Barcelona B and Real Madrid B. So that's what um, the B team allows you to do. And the B team will replace the reserve team. So once you get a B team, there will not be a reserve team within the game. Okay, next one is swap club with. And this allows you to literally switch the clubs around. 
So for instance, if I want to um, place Arsenal in the Italian league, I could select AC Milan. I could then save and close it, and AC Milan will now be in the Premiership, and Arsenal will be in the uh, in Serie A in the uh, in, in Italy. And at the same time as switching it, you'll change Arsenal's nationality to be Italian. You'll change AC Milan's nationality to be English, and it'll swap their their clubs uh, their, their divisions as well. So. And that's what the swap club width is. Similar, you've got swap manager width. And this allows you to physically switch managers around. So we all know that uh, Arsene Wenger manages Arsenal at the moment. But um, if you want to swap him with a different manager, let's say Jose Mourinho, Again, we can switch them around, so now Arsenal, Arsenal Wenger will be managing Chelsea and Jose will be managing Arsenal. Um, similar, you can always select the um, unemployed option. Just find it, there it is. And what this will do, this will pretty much sack the manager. And sometimes you might want to, might want to do this if you're going to get creative about switching your managers around. You might have to make some unemployed before uh, adding them back in. Um, here we have your um, kit colours. Um, simply just click on it, select what you what you want, click OK, and it will change for you. Here's some lovely colours, and these are your samples. What it should look like um, in game. Simple as that. So that's that screen. Now, if you go over here to stadium details, you have the ability to modify. The, um, the stadium and your attendance for the uh, the club and also a new feature is you can able to enable to uh, modify city attraction so again you can change these, the stadium capacity to what you like it to be and the expansion capacity and this is obviously the, the bigger the expansion capacity um, the, the more um, available space the board has to expand the stadium for you and you've got your attendances as well, what sort of average, minimum and maximum attendances you want. And you've got city attraction, which uh, is maximum of 20. I'm not too sure the impact of city attraction within the game at the moment, but I know in Football Manager for the PC, um, the bigger the attraction to the city, it helps increase chances of, of signing a player. And with any modifications that you do make to, um, to anything within the pre-editor, um, you click save and close and that commits them. Here we've got, you sure you want to swap managers? I want to say no, I don't want to. But if we go back into Arsenal, we can now see the kits have say the same. So you can see that you've committed your, your changes there. I'll show you again, if we go to change it to 20, if I change that to 10,000, save and close, go, go back into it, and you've got 10,020. As always, if you want to save modifications, your file, and you save your edited database, and you transfer it back onto your device. That's it for today. Hopefully, you'll have a, a good understanding now of how you modify and edit clubs. Um, hopefully, it will give you some ideas of how creative you can be. So, thanks for now.